So first, a beginning is a very delicate time. Let's let's talk about the beginning. Let's talk about that beginning. What exactly happened? Because it was rather suspicious. It was rather suspicious indeed that something like this was taking place. So let's play this video. News just coming into the live desk. We just learned from Bloomberg moments ago that Russia is releasing Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershkovich, who you see here, and former U.S. Marine Paul Whelan as part of a major prisoner swap with the U.S. We were the first local station to report this moments ago. Bloomberg citing several people who are familiar with the situation this morning. The men have been jailed on, in Russia on espionage charges that the U.S. has denied. Bloomberg reports they are now on their way to their destinations outside of Russia. The U.S. and its allies will return prisoners to Russia that they hold under this deal. Obviously, a very developing story as we come on the air this morning. We'll be tracking those developments throughout the morning here. News just coming into the live desk. So let's talk about this. Let's pull up this article here. The U.S. confirms prisoner swap with Russia. Moscow has released a total of 16 people. That's more than just two to the West, a statement from President Biden says. So three American citizens and one U.S. resident have been released by Russia as part of a prisoner exchange. President Joe Biden sent a statement. Moscow has also confirmed the swap of multiple detainees from several countries, which involved Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershevik and former U.S. Marine Paul Whelan. Today, three American citizens and one American green card holder who were unjustly imprisoned in Russia are finally coming home. So these are the people. Uh, he described the exchange uh, uh, arrangements as a feat of diplomacy and thanked Germania, I mean Germany, Poland, Slovenia, Norway, and Turkey for helping the U.S. achieve this outcome. According to the White House, the exchange secured the release of 16 people from Russia, including five German nationals and seven Russian citizens described as political prisoners in their own country. Biden made no mention of 10 Russian nationals released by the U.S. and its allies in exchange. Gershevik was arrest arrested in March last year after being caught soliciting classified information about Eurovagosvad, Euro a major Russian tank and uh, armored vehicle manufacturer in uh, Ekaterinburg. I think I said that right. He was convicted of espionage in early July and sentenced to 16 years in a maximum security colony. Whelan is a citizen of the UK, Ireland, and Canada, who was arrested for espionage in 2018 and sentenced in 2020. He was left out of the 2022 deal to exchange basketball player Brittany Griner for Russian businessman Victor Bout. So Kermavesha is an employee of the U.S. state-funded outlet uh, RFERL, who worked for its uh, Tartar uh, Bashkir language service. She was arrested in Kazan in October of 2023 and charged with failing to register as a foreign agent and later was spreading false information about the Russian military. So it's rather fascinating, but you want to know what's really fascinating. What's what's not being covered. Kamala and Biden meeting the prisoners that they got. No one knows what they're saying. Biden and Kamala Harris greeted prisoners from Russia very oddly. The president just froze and couldn't say a word, raising further concerns about his health. So Kamala took the lead, but began spouting a random stream of consciousness. This is just an extraordinary testament to the importance of having a president who understands the power of diplomacy. Does Biden look like he knows where he's at? Just one more time. Look at how confused he is. Began spouting a random stream of consciousness. This is just an extraordinary testament to the importance of having a president who understands the power of diplomacy and understands the strength that rests in understanding the significance of diplomacy and strengthening alliances. See, even Joe Biden's confused by that. Now, we know Joe Biden's confused all the time, but when we're, if, if anybody can understand what she's saying, here we go. Of consciousness. This is just an extraordinary testament to the importance of having a president who understands the power of diplomacy and understands the strength that rests in understanding the significance of diplomacy and strengthening alliances. This is, this is an incredible day. People on the internet mocked her public speaking without a script. They definitely needed one or two more people to handle that meeting. And here's and here is here's here's another another angle of that. Again, Biden, you know, you might have dropped out of the race, but this might be a newsflash for you. You are the president. Does he even know where he's at or why he's there? Because Kamala just said a whole bunch of BS. 
thankful for our president and what he has done in his entire career, but in particular as it relates to these families and these individuals, what he has been able to do to bring the allies together on many issues, but in particular this one. This is just an extraordinary testament to the importance of having a president who understands the power of diplomacy and understands the strength that rests in understanding the significance of diplomacy and strengthening alliances. This is an incredible day. He doesn't even know where he's at. Oh, my God. What? what, what Biden, where are you at right now, buddy? You can see them in families in their eyes and in their cries. <laughs> oh okay hey all right does that is everybody else seeing this i, I mean democrats i mean i'm glad you guys maybe kind of sort of woke up for the fact that there's something wrong with joe biden but throughout that entire word salad that kamala harris was saying and i don't think she even understood what she was saying this man He's not only lost in the sauce, he's at the bottom, bottom of the of of of, of the pot. Okay. He's he's all the way there. And that's and that's where he's at. This is the face of the president of the United States. And yet he's not saying anything. He's not doing anything. He's just looking blank and confused. An image can say a thousand things. What's this image, this frozen image? say to you does it say does it does it make you enthusiastic to vote for democrats in the 2024 election cycle does it inspire you are you filled with confidence are you feeling good about where the democrats are leading the country liberals i know you guys are emotionally triggered by trump i get it but kamala didn't do herself any favors with that made up word salad statement that she was making and joe biden looking like this doesn't inspire confidence. Good luck to you in November, especially on election night. You'll need it. Me, I'm grabbing the popcorn. If you fool me once, it's because I didn't think a guard was needed. If you fool me twice, it's because I didn't learn the lesson, so it bears repeating. If you try the same play three times running, it's because you know what's coming and you didn't come to lead. You came to purposefully be misleading. Democracy is dry. It's been a century bleeding. The husk is gaping open to the sky out in the field where all the sheep just keep on circling and worrying and bleeding. They're waiting for the shepherd that they've tried to hide their faith in, but he's so appealing. They'd gladly give their fleece. It's such a freeing feeling that even when he leads them to the ledge and starts to urge them on, they're positively beaming. They were told that they were on their way to save democracy. So even as they plummet, they just gloat. They don't consider screaming. And halfway up the cliff, the shepherd's cozy little mittens wrap around the staff of shattered human hopes on which he's leaning. He shows the gentle grin that used to stir your inner spark, and he says, not me, us, as he gestures to the oligarchs. He knows that if he runs, they're going to stop him like a stolen car, and he'll easily surrender because it bought a lot of time for laying mines in all the grassroots. Suddenly, the tiniest of movements gets you blown apart. Suddenly, you're in a play that's set on an election day and voting for the fire unaware you're playing Joan of Arc. Suddenly, the shepherd pulls the rug and slips a hood across your clueless mug and everything goes zero dark. I'm going to warn you once more before it's 2024 and you fuck around and find out who your heroes are. To take a step back from the herd and you'll learn that you can spot who all the shearers are. If you really want to know the product that they're selling, I can take you where the mirrors are. If you think your voice is finally ready, I can tell you where the lyrics are. I hid them in a box I had to bury neath the cobble when they carpet bombed the promenade and raided all the street bazaars. Now all we've got's the marketplace, and you're too broke to even bother asking what the options for your treatment are. Suddenly, the raw debris of homeless human dignity will find it has a hundred teeth for every badge and sweeper's arm. Suddenly, they speak in solidarity, and each is armed. Suddenly, the sheep can see the shepherd for his truest form and all pitch in at once to help him buy the farm. And now it's zero dark.
and all is calm and peaceful save the distant wail of sirens that approach beside the flames of dawn. Suddenly, the carrot's just a string that's on a stick, and all your movements make you sick because the prize is gone. Now, we could go and flee into the forest low and meek, or we can exercise our right to feast and go and graze on Biden's lawn. Because he's been sowing seeds that seep a toxin out to sap a bit from each of us and keep on leeching decades after Biden's gone. So regardless who they summon out of hell to come and do the job, it will not feel like Biden's gone. But in that time of hopelessness, you cannot trust the shepherd when he once again comes asking you to humor him his siren song. And it's cute that you can innocently, honestly assume that's just a symptom of a system that was wired wrong, and not the standard feature, basic function, primary objective of a mass hypnosis firebomb. You don't need to know the words to cry along. Someday it'll hit you like an officer who pistol whipped their ride along. Broke his jaw and kept his job and kept it moving right along. That voting isn't red or blue or black or white or right or wrong. Voting's like a firing squad where you can choose the firearm. It's slow extinction by and large. It's Super Tuesday supercharged. It's all your futures, roots and all, just tossed out on a garbage barge. It's everybody dropping out to push the biggest oligarch. It's everybody voting fire, registered as Joan of Arc.